Hello guys and welcome to this fourth episode of my Pokemon Silver version Let's Play. In our last episode we saw that we had a new rival, the red haired guy that we called Artem. Not that Artem has red hairs but I just needed a good rival's name and Artem is like my best friend slash rival on YouTube so yeah, things it's nice when things fall in place. So I'm going to heal up my Pokemon now in the Pokemon Center because I forgot to do that in last episode and as usual I'm just going to have some random conversations with people on random places um, because at some points in the game they might give you a useful item at least that's what I always used to do in my um, in my let's plays so what we're going to do uh, today is we are going to uh, visit this Pokemon school and afterwards we are going to explore and walk through the Sprout Tower. Um, as you see the graphic graphics are kind of funny but we have some guys, a red guy and a, and a green guy playing a Pokemon game which is like hilarious. These guys are like take, uh, saying that Pokemon can hold items and that they are taking notes and stuff which is kind of funny, they're like studying Pokemon, can you already imagine studying Pokemon, it's just insane. But uh, yeah, we're going to leave that. Here we see the gym on our left side, let's see if we can go in. Uh, we can already go in and already challenge it I guess, but um, I really want to take the Sprout Tower first because then my Pokemon will be at a higher level. For now it's just Totodile, but in my opinion Totodile can... yeah, can beat this Pidgeys and Pidgeotto's on its own basically and it will be a good test for him to battle these Bellsprouts because he's weak to grass and uh, yeah it will be it will be nice to see him struggle through this Sprout Tower. So in the middle you see that moving thing it's like a Bellsprout it's like the body of a Bellsprout moving from the left to the right and uh, when we reach the top of this Bellsprout Tower we are going to gain an HM uh, I'm not going to spoil the surprise what that HM is going to be, but uh, yeah, this uh, Sprout Tower has like bald people, and these bald people are like Bell Sprouts fans, and they all use them in battles. As you will see right here, this uh, Sage or whatever this guy was called is going to send out a Bell Sprout. My Tutorial is level 11, so I thought like yeah, one scratch is easily going to one hit KO it. But Bell Sprouts are apparently pain in the butts because yeah they survive it with relative ease. I'm going to keep scratching straight off the bat and I don't feel like narrating all of these battles so I'm not sure what to talk about. Um, in my last video I asked people like what do you want me to talk about in this let's play so I'm just going to ramble about my personal life. Today it's Saturday and when I usually... on Saturday is a day where I intend to sleep a lot because uh, I have a kind of a tough working week and Saturday and Sunday are basically the only days that I can uh, spend in my bed a little longer since I have to wake up at 7 a.m. every morning in the working days and uh, I get home at 7 p.m. so it's like it's like a, a, a very busy day for me from Monday to Friday but uh, so yeah rambling about my work has got me through this uh, battle and actually it's not really working but it's like um, I'm working but studying at the same time and uh, I go to university I have mentioned this in the podcast as well uh, I'm not sure if at this point where I'm going to narrate this uh, let's play video I'm not sure if our podcast of the super effective podcast is going to be up already but uh, yeah I'm at university I study pharmaceutical sciences and I'm currently in my master of drug development which is awesome because I tend to use all chemical sorts of stuffs and uh, I can I can access and use a lot of drugs which is actually quite scary but also fun as well knowing that you can work with all those kind of things um, back to the game we got another sage using bell sprouts and bell sprouts look like weeds and weeds remind me of my education as well so <laughs> I'm actually 22 years old so it's my final year of masters um, luckily because I really want to start working, earn some money, maybe leave the house. Um, yeah, I would really appreciate that, to be honest. Um, yeah, Gator went to level 12 here. Not really sure if he's going to gain another level. But the Bell Sprouts are accumulating, and I'm just going to fire up my lasers! That's basically what I'm going to do. Basically. So, yeah, um, 
what do I have to say? My education is like five years, and the first three years were bachelor, the last two years are master. In my bachelor, I had a lot of hard work to do. I got like physics, I got like biochemistry, microbiology, all that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of familiar with diseases. Um, I'm like a doctor, but I don't uh, prescribe medication, I just give them. I'm like a pharmacist, because that is what I'm going to get my diploma of, of a pharmacist. But um, yeah. Um, so we are keep going to continuing this Sprout Tower. Um, back up, we forgot an item. Luckily, I corrected myself quite easy. So, um, not sure why I went to my pack. Um, so I'm just going to use another potion on my gator because I really want to clear this tower uh, without going up and down a little much. And oh, we got ourselves a wild Pokemon here and unfortunately it's not a Pidgey, uh, a Bellsprout, it's just a Rattata. And yeah, I'm just gonna run because I just wanted to show you that they have Rattatas here. The bald guy notices me and he's like, explanation marks, way like leaves and winds. And I'm like, okay. Kinda scaring me though, kinda scaring me. And we have another Bellsprout. Uh, now that I think of it, I should have like... Um, uh, skipped these battles, basically, but... And like... <laughs> Talking about Saturday mornings, it's, it is a real Saturday morning because I just woke up. You can hear that at the sound of my voice, I guess. And I'm like, sleeping a little bit and narrating this Let's Play. I thought like, hey, why not narrate this Let's Play? And uh, when I narrate this Let's Play, I might wake up. But uh, <laughs> I'm not really waking up. So um, just going to keep scratching the bell sprout in the fucking nuts. Even though it doesn't have nuts. It does have seeds, though. It has seeds, which kind of scares me, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Bellsprout has a lot of seeds. <laughs> kind of got me scary. And uh, that Vine Whip, I was actually thinking that these Bellsprout would use growth more often, and when they use that... I can't live it! Oh my god! I'm so sorry about yawning. <laughs> I'm, like, tired, guys, really. For all the people that are not working and watching my Let's Play, which I think is a majority of YouTubers that watch Pokemon Let's Plays, I recommend you to study as long as possible because when you start, when you are studying, you always wonder like, how would it be when I start working? And I don't want to study, I want to start working, I hate school. But when that moment comes, when you go to university or high school or college, not sure what it's called in uh, America or the other countries, when you go there and you get confronted by the fact that um, working is nearby and in a few years you will start working, you are automatically going to want to start studying more because work is so hard. It's You don't have free time at all. Um, when you study, you have like days off, you don't have to do a thing, basically. Maybe, basically in the week you have like homework against some other days in the week, that's just how um, high school goes, or university works, or uh, mid school, or low school, basic school, or whatever your schools are called. But in the weekend you're basically free. That's the same when you work, but when you work, you have so many hours that you need to work, really. Um, like myself, I wake up at 7 a.m. and I return at home at 7 p.m. Then I eat, then I wash myself, take a shower, sit, watch some television. At 10 p.m., I'm like tired as hell, and the only thing you can do is grab the remote control of your television just randomly go through some channels on television and then you're like so tired that you just shut off your television go and brush your teeth go in bed at that time it's like uh, half past 10 11 p.m. something like that you go to bed wake up at 7 a.m. and it's a new day so that's basically a routine that is kind of boring, at least in my opinion. You do get money out of it, but 
If you compare the time that you have free to the time you have free when you are at school, really, it's just not comparable because when you're at school, school usually lasts until 4 p.m. There are like three extra hours that you are at home where you can relax. You don't, you are not obliged to like work, to be honest. So, like I said, when you're studying, you don't really see that, what I'm explaining right now. But when you are studying, you're like, I want to go to work, but really, just keep studying as long as possible. So, uh, I have been battling a lot in this episode, and I think in, our, in my next episodes, I'm going to skip some of these battles because they are annoying me right now. Oh my god, just facing some random Dell Sprouts is just no fun. And when you compare that to the other generations, there you can see that some quests are made more interesting, really, because um, you don't often go into a dungeon in black and white or diamond and pearl and face like 10 trainers with the same Pokemon over and over again. It's just a bit insane, really. But I'm just gonna scratch at my Feraligator. <laughs> Feraligator, why did I say Feraligator? My Totodile is leveling up quite nicely. Uh, here is a Hoot Hoot. I'm going to keep scratching him in the face. Uh, Hoot Hoot doesn't really have a super effective move on me. It tries to grow to lower my attack, but that fails. So that will um, that will enable me to finish him off next turn with a scratch. My Totodile grows to level 14, which is amazing. And yeah, Sage Troy was destroyed, and let's go to the final Sage, and explanation mark. What is happening here? What? Is Artem fighting again? You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But let me say this, treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. <laughs> he claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. He stands to reason. I never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Artem used an escape route. Salute, Sal! That was like my Russian impression. So I'm going to get this escape rope and off screen I'm going to heal off my, um, my Totodile. That's basically why you hear the sound uh, being strange and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is the final guy we have to beat, and when I was young I always thought that if you went between those two Bellsprout signs that you would have an awesome side quest, but that doesn't happen. So, oh what a big surprise, the Elder has like Bellsprouts. And I have no idea how Arda was able to beat these Bellsprouts so easily, because he only has a Chikorita. But uh, yeah, Bellsprout is going to use Growth, luckily, and I'm going to go for a Scratch. Two hit KO him, which is nice. Is nice. The next Pokemon is a Pelsprout. Oh my god, so original. Dude, I know why they call you the Elder. But uh, unfortunately for me, this Bellsprout is bulkier than the other one, and I'm not going to be able to two hit KO him. At least I think. Oh, nearly two hit KO. That was so close. I'm just going to Vine Whip him right away now. And if I'm correct, his last Pokemon is a Hoot Hoot. Come on, let it be a Hoot Hoot, because if it's, if it's like another Bellsprout, then I'm kind of doomed. Yes, awesome, Hoot Hoot. So I'm going to go for a Scratch, keep scratching him, and this Hoot Hoot has actually a pretty high level. Hoot Hoot can basically only tackle me, and it does like nothing. So keep scratching, and this victory is guaranteed. And that means that I'm going to get an, a hidden machine. A hidden... Yeah. <laughs> A hidden machine as well. So I'm going to go for a water gun for the nice finish. Going to sprinkle him with my water gun. <laughs> Which is now that I think about it is quite scary at the same time. But we beat him, get a hidden machine. That hidden machine is going to be Oh my god, I thought he would say it. It's Flash! So now we can go and explore the dark cave. But that's not what I'm going to do. In my next episode, I'm going to take on that um Flying Gym with Faulkner. I hope you guys will be tuned. Will stay tuned for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play. I see you in the next episode and 
going to use an escape rope to escape from this tower. Um, by using that, I will appear at the entrance. So, thank you for watching once again. I hope to see you in my next episode of this Let's Play, and see you guys later.